So today I wanted to go over what things would look like right now if the playoffs, if the NHL playoffs started right now. I know they don't start today, uh, but there's definitely a few areas where we can start to get a picture of certain things that might happen, could happen, things that we would like to not happen, things we would prefer to happen, depending on what team you're a fan of. So um, if you start over in the East over here, um, you'd have the Bruins versus the Wings. You'd have the Leafs and the Panthers in round one. You'd have the Hurricanes and Flyers in round, in round one. And the Rangers would actually be playing the Lightning. Um, over in the West, you'd have the Canucks versus the Blues, Avalanche Jets, the Knights versus the Oilers, and the Stars versus the Kings. Now, obviously, some of those matchups are, I mean, they're all subject to change, obviously, but there's a few things that, there's what, 30 games left, 30-ish games left. I think the Panthers have like 20, 28 games left or something like that. We'll see how many. What is it, 30, 31? I forget. There's not a lot of games left. That's not the point. The point is, is we can pretty much take a look at the standings and see, okay, where everybody's going to lay out. Now, in the Atlantic, um, it's, very, it's a very similar situation to the West, and I'll get to that in a second. Boston's going to win the division, okay? Barring them just tanking or the Panthers or even the Leafs, Really, the Leafs can't catch them either. The only team within a shot are the Panthers, and we're simply not interested. We're simply not interested. Um, it probably might have been to our benefit, maybe, to be looking at a, a, a matchup against a wild card team. But, you know, it, it is what it is. The Bruins have been consistently the best team in that division the entire year. Panthers had a nine-game win streak. I think we tied them or we might have been a, po a point ahead for about a half hour or something, and then, of course, we lost four in a row, and we've basically been five points out ever since. So I expect, barring anything miraculous, for it to be Panthers and Leafs. Now, I know it kind of looks like, all right, you know, Leafs are sitting there, 49 games played, 60 points. Lightning are only one point behind. Red Wings are two points behind. But – if anybody knows, it's Panther fans. We know that if you're two points out and the other team has a game in hand, that, that can prove insurmountable. It's possible, right? Panthers have obviously last year they came back from, oh, from, from far behind and made it. But the other end to that is many a year, you know, we're four points out with two in hand or six points out with three in hand. And it just seems like the games in hand never really work out in the favor uh, all that often in favor of the team that's behind. So um, when you take into consideration the Lightning losing Sergachev and just their basic struggles during the season and the fact that they've got three more games played than the Maple Leafs and they're a point behind, I think barring anything um, shocking, I think you're going to see that Panthers-Leafs series be in the first round. Now, in terms of the wild cards, um, I I am not going to bet against the Lightning. All right, they still have a big portion of the core from when they won cups. I would be shocked if they faltered enough towards the end of this season to not make the playoffs. Now, that last spot, you got the Wings there at fifty-eight points. You've got the Islanders kind of knocking on the door. The Penguins are an interesting situation because, you know, they're going to be in should we buy or should we sell mode here. They got 53 points, so they're five points out of that last spot. But what do they got? They got two games in hand on the wings, right? So they're right there, right there, right there at the very edge. I don't think anybody's catching anybody. To be honest with you, I think this is I think the standings now are how they're going to end up. Um, I don't think the Atlantic is going to get switched around. And when I look at the Metro, Rangers clearly the best team in that division. The Hurricanes are pretty much comfortable in second place. The Flyers are comfortable in third place. And I don't think the Islanders or Penguins are going to have the juice to catch anybody. And the Devils kind of wasted their shot. 
So I think the Atlantic is going to stay. It would not shock me at all to see the Atlantic stay the way it is right now. And over in the West, a um, little bit of a different story in the Central. you got the Stars, Avalanche, and Jets. When you take games in hand into consideration, that's like anybody's. And nobody wants it. Well, the Stars, have, the Stars lost a game. The Avalanche have lost three straight, getting ready to play the Panthers today. And then the Jets have lost five straight. Um, both teams, all three teams have very similar goal differentials. Stars plus 32, Avalanche 31, Jets 33. And when you account for the fact that the Jets have played three fewer games than the Avalanche and two fewer games than the Stars, put those three teams in a Yahtzee Cup, and that's I mean, who knows? Who knows how that's all going to, to end out? That, that's going to be a crazy finish. Over in the Pacific, it's a little bit exact. It's almost exactly like the Atlantic. The Canucks, nobody's catching the Canucks. Okay, the Golden Knights are safely they there are in the exact same spot. I think they have the exact same number of points as the Panthers, sixty-eight. Let's see. The Panthers are thirty-two, fifteen, and four, and the Knights are thirty-one, fifteen, and six. So they're almost mirror images of each other. You look up and you're like, we're not catching first place. They look down and they go, ain't nobody catching us for second place. So both the Panthers and Knights are about as cemented into second place with a home ice first round as you can be. Now, where it gets interesting is a couple of things. Um, Oilers, they've obviously gone on a run. They've got third place pretty well locked up as well, okay? Um, the wild card teams, you've got the Kings at 56 points. And then this, the, the fight for the eight seed, I mean, the Blues have 54. The Preds have 54. The Flames have 53. The Kraken have 52. So the the fight for that eight seed is going to be, it's going to be rock'em sock'em, okay? Um, if I had to pick, uh, let me see. I mean, I mean, the, the Wild, like, even the, well, the Wild are not really, completely out of it yet but you know there there's a lot of teams there's a lot of teams if i had to throw them into a hat and pick two i wouldn't pick the flames that's what i know i wouldn't pick the flames i think the kings will get one and then it wouldn't surprise me to see either the wild blues or preds get the other one but that's you know the the difference in um the difference just in goal differential alone, the difference in quality of teams at the top of the West versus the bottom of the West is stark. Now, the thing that I find most interesting, the thing that I find most interesting about if if things would start today is the one scenario, the two scenarios, that look like they're the most absolutely likely thing to happen, which is the Panthers are going to play the Leafs in the first round and the Knights are going to play the Oilers in the first round. Which means, which means you've got the Stanley Cup champions versus the team that a lot of people kind of picked to maybe possibly win a cup this year. And then you've got the Eastern Conference champions against the team that a lot of people kind of might have picked to win a cup this year or get further anyway. And out of Toronto, Florida, Vegas, and Edmonton, two of them ain't even making it out of the first round. And Whichever team that happens to, the fan base is going to say they're going to be disappointed is a massive understatement, right? Now, if I had to sit here and pick, um, obviously being a Panther fan, I'm going to feel confident going up against the Leafs, but that don't mean that don't mean nothing, okay? If there's if there's one thing that we know, it's that success against the team one year is not indicative of the success the next year, right? Panthers took Tampa Bay to six games, all right? And it 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 did not translate the next year when they swept us. Okay. We we kind of felt like, hey, we took them to six last year without Ekblad. We felt we were better, and then they swept us. So, you know, just because we beat the Leafs last year in five, that that don't mean nothing. You know, you know what I mean? And we have not exactly been the fact that we would have home ice in that series, um, I kind of prefer to be on the road a little bit. You know what I mean? The Panthers have been better on the road. Over in the West, yikes, right? 
okay, the team that looks like they're ready to win a cup in the Oilers and the, the defending champions in the, in the Knights, one of those teams ain't getting out of the first round. I mean, it's almost is it's as it's as set as it could be at what February tenth. It's as close to locked in as it could be. <laughs> One of those teams, either the defending Stanley Cup champs are going to get knocked out in the first round, or the Oilers, who had won like what 108 games in a row, they're not going to make it out of the first round. One of those two teams ain't making it out of the first round. That's crazy to me, and to be able to look at it from this far out. And you can pretty much you can pretty much lock it into the chamber. That that's going to be the series. So, um, in terms of some of the other series, you know how I would feel about you know Boston. I think the Rangers are playing the Lightning. I think that's the way we're if it worked out right now. There's going to be some movement there, right? Um, if I'm a Lightning fan, I'm probably not. Who would you rather play, Boston or the Rangers? Right? You're a little bit more f- familiar with Boston. My theory has always been whoever plays Boston in the first round this year is fixing to get obliterated because they're going to have, you know, learned a lesson from last year. Which, to bring it back to my Panthers, good luck to us, okay? Because the most likely scenario is if we want to make it back to the Eastern Conference Finals, we got to beat the Leafs, and then we're probably going to have to beat the Bruins again but so I mean, hi, yay, 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 right? That's that's we we could play, we could play really well and not and not win no series. It could happen, you know what I mean? Um, it's it's never you know when you're playing a team that you beat in last year's playoffs, there's going to be that little bit of extra motivation. And the way that we beat Boston kind of caught them by surprise. We won game two. And they kind of looked up and they're like, hey, wait a minute. This is going to be a series. What's going on here? And, you know, we won that series because Bob made a save in overtime with, with, with the knob of his stick, right? That's how close it is. There's, just, there's no guarantees. But if I had to look at it all right now, I feel good about the Panthers' chances. But last thing, like I said, Panthers, Leafs, Knights, Oilers, all four fan bases right now, if you ask them, they're probably sitting back going, I feel good. I feel good about my team. I feel good, right? And only two of us making it out of the first round. That's crazy to me, right? That's going to leave the door open. There's going to be doors open for some new teams. Don't discount the Flyers. The Flyers are just kind of there, right? You know, they're just like, here we are. We're in third place. I guess we're going to do this, right? Nobody kind of expected that. Now, if there was one team that I think might get out skied, um, it'd be interesting to see if the if the wings have what it takes to finish off the job and and snare that eight seed. I believe that I, I I will not bet against the lightning to take that seed. So that was it. Short and sweet for today. I just saw I saw those two matchups, and it just the way it's just there's gonna be some teams that there's gonna be two teams that have a roster pretty much good enough to win a cup that are not going to make it out of the first round and maybe even more, right? Depending on what would happen, you know, Rangers and Lightning. I'm sure the Rangers are feeling pretty good, right? If what You're going to bet against the Lightning? I mean, yes, okay, maybe. But those old crusty teams that have won cups before, they're never an easy out, you know what I mean? So what do we got? We got about 30 games, 30 games, give or take. I thought we had fewer games left. I, I must be off on my count somehow. So we've played 51. So there's still 30. Why did I think we only had 29 games left? I don't know. I'm old. What do you want from me? That was it. Short and sweet. I'll see you guys. Uh, what is it? It's it's almost 1 o'clock. The stream starts at 6. Stream actually starts at 5.30. Game starts at 6. Stream starts at 5.30. And we've got a couple of gifts, a couple of presents that you all sent, Kyle and I, to open up at the beginning of the stream. So we'll see you then.